All right, is everybody looking at a blank screen? All right. Wonderful. Read that question for me, please, Ayana. All right, Ayala, why don't you read it for me? Okay, it says, what if we can use a formula to find x-intercept? What do you think about that, Ayala? What if you could use a formula to find x-intercepts? Um, I think it probably would be um, very difficult to do that. Why? Why do you think that? Nasha says she thinks it would be great. And um, Ayana says she thinks it would be easier. And for a lot of people, um, having a formula to just plug stuff into is easier. Some people learn better by actually doing a process. So, um, but what do you think, Ayala? Uh, are you more comfortable with factoring and completing the square? Or do you think you'd be more comfortable with a formula? I think I would be more comfortable with a formula. But guess what, y'all? There is a formula. It's called the quadratic formula. And I'm going to show you where it comes from. <laughs> because uh, you wouldn't have fully understood it without having gone through the other processes first. All right. Now, let's take all lines in the two-dimensional universe. Not all lines, all parabolas. All parabolas in the two-dimensional universe. Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. All right. Now, we're going to treat this like any other equation that we were um, going to factor. We can't, fa by default, we can't factor this equation because we don't have any real numbers to, to work with, right? Well, we don't have any known numbers to work with. So what do we do when we can't factor? Complete the square, absolutely. So we're going to set y equal to 0. Now we've got to get rid of the c term. We're going to subtract c from both sides. That's going to give us negative c is equal to ax squared plus bx. All right, is everybody with me so far? All right, now, your leading term had, must be 1. The coefficient in front of your leading term, the x squared term, it has to be 1. So that means we've got to get rid of that a, right? We're going to do that by um, dividing both sides by a. That's going to be equal to negative ca is equal to x squared plus bax, b over ax. All right, y'all with me? Any questions so far? All right, so now we are going to complete the square. We're going to take b over a, and we're going to multiply it times 1 half, and then we're going to square it. I'm going to move real slow so I can make sure y'all following along. So b over a times 1 half is equal to b over 2a, right? We multiply the numerators, b times 1 is 1, and a times 2, the denominators, we multiply the denominators, we get a times 2 equals 2a. So now we're going to square this. Um, b, over, b over 2a is equal to b over, b over 2a squared is equal to b over 2a times b over 2a. Multiplying the numerators, b times b equals b squared. 2a times 2a equals 4a squared. So that'll be your new c term. So now we're going to multiply, now we're going to add b squared over 4a squared to both sides. And that's where, and we'll get negative c plus um, negative c over a squared, no, negative c over a plus b squared over 4a squared is equal to x squared plus b over a x plus b squared over 4a squared. Now we have negative c over a plus b squared over 4a squared is equal to x squared plus b over a x plus b squared over 4a squared. Uh, pretty long, but um, it's, a, it's the result of all the steps. Did everybody follow all the steps? Now remember, I'm just treating the letters like numbers. All right, wonderful. So now, here's what I'm going to do. On the left, I have to find um, common denominators. The lowest common denominator of a and 4a squared is 4a squared. All right, b squared goes and uh, 4a squared goes into itself one time. 1 times b squared equals b squared. 
So basically, we're bringing that one straight down. Now, a goes in the 4a square 4a times. And a times, um, so remember, a goes into 4a square 4a times. 4a times c is equal, 4a times negative c is equal to negative 4ac. All right, so now we have these in common. Now we have these in common denominators, and we can add them on the next line. Meanwhile, on the left, we can factor these into. Um, you're in study hall now, Rick. Um, meanwhile, we can factor this equation on the left into perfect squares. Factors in x plus 2a. I'm sorry, x plus b over 2a times x plus b over 2a. All right, so our next line, we are going to um, add the, we're going to add the fractions on the left. I'm going to write the b term first. Yes, it's going to stop, Ayana. Just hold tight. Be patient. Remember, you, you're a big girl now. Big girls do loan math problems. So you're going to have b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Because recall, when you add fractions, the denominators stay the same. And on the right of this equation, we're going to contract these two binomial terms. Now, you all notice that you're doing the same things that you would be doing if you were completing the square, right? The only difference is you're doing, you're doing it with unknown numbers instead of known numbers. So now we're going to take the square root of both sides. All right, so now remember, when you take the square root of a fraction, you'll finish it by taking the square root of the numerator and the denominator. So the square root of b squared minus 4ac, we're going to leave it just like that because there's nothing else we can do with it. At the bottom, however, the square root of 4a squared will be 2a. Now, because this is a, a, plus, a square root, we're going to put the plus or minus. We're going to put that plus or minus right there. We can't forget that plus or minus. Meanwhile, here on the right, we're going to have x plus b over 2a. Now, we are going to subtract um, 2a from b over 2a from both sides. And this is going to give us value for x. This is our last step. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. That is the quadratic formula. What, no matter what the equation is, you can find the x-intercepts of any, any quadratic equation using this formula.